So I'm recording this on December 1st, 2023. And I wanted to get this message out as early as possible within this month because using December in my mind as a a tool and thinking of December and utilizing the month of December as a runway towards the new year in my mind is really important. When it comes to New Year's resolutions, we often don't even think about the kind of things that we want to achieve in the new year until January hits. The second that January rolls around, that's when we start to think about what it is we want to achieve in the new year, the kind of things that we want to improve upon. And instead of waiting until January, until the new year to actually figure out what it is we want, Doing that in December and as early as you possibly can within December allows you to hit the ground running when the new year actually rolls around. Spending an hour or two within the first couple weeks of December, the first week ideally of December, and mapping out your new year and really figuring out in each area of life what it is you want to do, the kind of things you want to experience, the kind of things that you want to improve upon, actually spending time thinking about it, meditating on it, spending like a week or two weeks thinking about what it is we actually want because we may have an idea of what it is we want, but those things change over time. They may change within the span of a few weeks. And if you wait until the new year to start strategizing and planning, by mid-January, you may not have an idea of what it is you want and before you know it february will roll around so give yourself some time at the beginning of this month and think about in each area what it is you want what it is you want to improve upon what it is you want to experience in the new year get clear on your identity for this new year we all have the ability to recreate ourselves in whatever way we see fit whenever we want But getting clear on exactly what it is we want to experience in the new year now, in this moment, gives us time to ponder on it, gives us time to meditate on it, gives us time to get real clear on exactly the things that we want. So when January rolls around, when everyone else around you is finally coming up with their New Year's resolutions, you've already hit the ground running. And because you're already setting that new standard for yourself, you hit the new year in this stride that's going to allow you to ride the wave of this momentum in the new year. You don't need to wait until January 1st to define and take action towards bettering yourself. If you listen to my content, you know that I am a very big proponent when it comes to foundation. When it comes to anything in life, before you start your new business before you get into this new relationship. Building a foundation, having a strong foundation before you do anything, in my eyes, is so key. And you can build something up really high. You can do something and work really hard on something and spend a lot of time with someone, for example. But if you do not have a strong foundation, cracks will start to form. And the thing that you've built, even if it is really high, it will eventually collapse. So spending time and building that strong foundation building these pillars to build upon whatever it is that you're building is so important and that's essentially what we're doing in december we are building the foundation for who it is we are in this new year people lose momentum when it comes to their new year's resolutions in like mid to end january but when you set the standard now and start building that foundation now on your goals or the things that you want to do in the new year like i said you hit the ground running you enter january with this momentum you actually know what it is you want and you know that you're going to stick with it because you've already been consistent for the last couple weeks and the likelihood of you giving up or the likelihood of you not really going after the things that you want is going to be diminished because you're carrying that momentum with you You've already built this strong foundation. You know what it is you want. You're not wavering on whether it is you want it or not because you've gotten clear 
weeks ago. Like, you know this is what you want. This is who you're going to become. This is the things that you want to improve upon in this new year. And you figured that out weeks ago. So now, you spent the time doing it now. So you already hit the new year in this perfect stride, this perfect momentum. So I want to keep this short, but my key advice in this message is set your foundation now for the new year. It's December 1st when I'm recording this. I'm probably going to release it within the next few days. Set your foundation now. Spend a couple hours figuring out and listing out what it is you want in this new year, who it is you want to be in this new year, how you want to carry yourself and present yourself in this new year, the kind of goals that you want to go after. Be ambitious. Allow yourself to really feel like you are that person and that that is possible for you. And getting crystal clear doesn't take an hour of your time. It's going to take more than a few days. That's why it's important to do it now because you may want to meditate on it or ponder on it for a week or two and that's perfectly fine. But set that foundation up now so you can set yourself up in the new year, in a month from now. And you're just going to ride that wave. That momentum is going to carry you into the new year. You're going to feel motivated to do it and you're not going to be scrambling being like, I don't know what it is I actually want. I don't know if this is what I want to do. I don't know if this is what I should go after or not. You're getting that out of your system now, once you get clarity on it now. So build your foundation for the new year in December, and in early December, ideally. So you give yourself that time, and then you can hit the ground running in four weeks' time when January rolls around. Also, I just want to say this one thing before I sign off. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. It means the world to me that you are listening to this. Hopefully this message can be sent out to the right people. If you haven't yet followed the community on Instagram, it's at Presence of Being. There's a lot of exciting things coming. I want to continue to expand the community, grow the community, and help other people. So thank you again for being here, and I will see you in the next episode.